You know, people would come up to me in airports. They liked Lynette, but it was also, she's a bitch. Ooh, she's hard on Tom. Your hands smell like cheese. <laughs> he goes to school. I don't want you to go to school. He quits school. I can't believe you quit school. He starts a job. That's not a good enough job. He gets a better job. Now you're working too much. Ta-da! What is this? It's your dream house. Ow. What the hell's wrong with you? You don't just buy someone a house. Lynette's been one of my favorite characters to write because she's faced such a real, real dilemma, which is the push and pull of the working mom. I think you might have forgotten something. I was on the phone. I was talking to my new boss, and I... You got a lot on your mind. Three kids and a newborn. Sounds like a new job. Yeah, I do. It's a lot to handle. Before, she was fighting externally, and this year, she's been fighting internally and has finally had a sea change in terms of how she holds the world. Don't ever forget. Always remember how much you wanted to be loved and how much you are loved. People care deeply about this relationship. That's good and that's important because I think we need a positive um, reflection uh, of what marriage is and can be and should be. Yeah, this does seem like a nice place. I think it's nice that Lynette was kind of able to have it all at the end because that's been her, her struggle for eight years.